everybody it's me andrew get out into nature and tune in for yourself resonate with the earth's electromagnetic field vfr 32 hertz the universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your body's ph level and get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity sending me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so today i wanted to talk about um finding the rhythm your rhythm uh, or getting in tune with the rhythm uh of the universe your natural rhythm and uh, flowing within this and allowing this to uh, help you shift into a higher awareness, right? So let's get into this. Um, so everything is pretty much rhythms, right? Everything is a um, wave, everything is energy, everything is frequency. So everything is a, a rhythm, right? Rhythms. And uh, you can look at life in this way. Everything is rhythm. And uh, it's all happening rhythmically, right? So like vibrational wavelengths, it, there's a certain rhythm to it, right? Uh, um, and it's very subtle. There's uh, more dense rhythms. There's more subtler rhythms. Uh, you can, if you're not sensitive to the subtle, the most subtlest rhythms, then you can start at a at a more dense rhythm and then you can use it as a as a as an entrance or an entrance to subtler rhythms which will uh help you to understand subtler dimensions right um so you can use the rhythms of the universe or your personal rhythms because you are the microcosm to the macrocosm, which means you are a mini cosmos to the expansive cosmos. Uh, you're one and the same, right? Uh, you got to you got to come into union to be able to have an experience so that you can uh, change the identification. Right? So so uh, there's conditioned IDs, conditioned ego, conditioned identification or programs, programs that we're, we're tuned into, which are also comprised of rhythms as well. You can, and once you start understanding the rhythms, you can uh, learn to traverse the various rhythms of, of the, the sea of consciousness, right? Um, and, and then uh, you can, you can, you can literally make your way out of, um, corrupted forcings you know or, or maybe like seas which have been uh propagated or, or whatever you want to say it is uh so there's a, there's there's false ids false ego that has been conditioned into you that you're deeply entangled with um and these are these are like poisons you know uh because they kill your life they kill they don't, they don't actually kill you, but they're, they're withering your life, right? Uh, because they're leaving you in very, very uh, misidentified states. So, so you can, um, you can dissolve at these, right? Uh, which is what you want to do. You want to dissolve the false ego because it's gonna allow you to. Um, it's gonna allow you to come back into to uh, an actualization or or maybe an immersification where you're here now and and you're actually experiencing things in totality rather than within a falsehood. So uh, if you're able to have you know or or make the unification come into yoga then you can change that 
false identity or you can start to dissolve away at the false ego because you're dissolving the boundaries, right? Whenever you begin to dissolve the boundaries which come with false ego, the, the, the boundaries of the body and, and mind complex, then you can experience something beyond uh, the physical and even the mind, right? Uh, and if you're able to have that experience, then you can, uh, you can change, you know, uh, or make a quantum leap even. So if you're able to get into the, if you can find the rhythms, which is part of yoga, finding the rhythms, you know, um, yoga posture is, is, is rhythm. So you don't necessarily have to do yoga posture or anything like this because life is already yogic or life is yoga because everything is uni is, is unity you know uh, and that is what yoga yoga means unity or, or union in uh sanskrit and that's what that's what yoga is it's unity it's communion right uh so if you're able to unify with nature then you're able to um immersify experientially and deepen your experience of life into something beyond right um so while i'm talking about rhythms is because everything is rhythm right um rhythms within rhythms right everything is vibration everything is energy and and, and rhythm is synonymous with with energy and vibration and frequency right uh they're one and the same so rhythm you can you can tune into rhythm right once again you can tune yourself into rhythm uh subtle or or dense rhythm it's all the same though it's all because it's all rhythm within rhythm right um and you can make the rhythm an entrance to um, unification or, or even uh, immersification on a very, very deeper, on a very deep level, a saturated level of life. So it's not you, it's not something to, um, to, to conflict in or, or make anything complex because the basis of your life is unif if unif is unity right or or union and uh this is rhythm right whenever you're dancing you're in a rhythm whenever you're listening to music you're in a rhythm when you're singing you're in a rhythm right when you're walking you're in a rhythm when you're breathing you're in a rhythm when you're thinking you're in a rhythm everything is a rhythm right so you can use the rhythms of life or the rhythm of life to get into deeper dimensions of existence or even uh, on a very simple level, unify, right? So you can use rhythms to dissolve the, the boundaries of the body and the mind complex right uh make it simple through the rhythm because when you're in the rhythm things are extremely simple you know uh, like like walking <laughs> walking is extremely simple for everybody everybody knows how to walk okay um this is because of rhythm right uh we all subconsciously are breathing we're able to do this because we're in a we're in a um a synchronous rhythm you know <laughs> we can all sing to music that has been uh made for us because we're able to get in rhythm with it and join in right if there if there was no rhythm it'd be a lot harder to to uh to join you know so uh which is unification as well joining conjoining yourself with another person 
is unity or is union, right? Like sex, when you're having sex, you are, you're joining another person very, very deeply, right? Energetically, physically, mentally, on multiple different levels. So it's the same thing. It's a unity that's taking place, a union between the individuals, right? Uh, and that's rhythm. There's rhythm in sex. There's rhythm in, in all of life. Life is rhythm. And this is the simplicity of life. If you're able to tune into the rhythm of life, things become very, very simple. Uh, and then you can, if you would like, you can get into the complex, right? Uh, because it fluctuates back and forth. Like it's a polarizing uh, ripple, ripple. It's a polarizing ripple, simplicity and complex right uh but i want to say there's just simplicity because everything is is just simple right because it's life um so unity you 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 make unification through rhythm entrance entrance to deeper dimensions through that unification process right and it begins with rhythm so tune yourself into the rhythm and that's all there is to it and the rhythm's already there because that's life. So I do thank everybody for watching once again. Peace out, one love. Have a great evening.